All right, folks, so I got a new project to work on. Uh, this is something I bought back in uh, February uh, of this year, and we're now in mid, mid-August, mid and it's arrived just today. I bought it from the US, uh, had to transit via the UK, and uh, it's only arrived now. There's loads of delays due to um, obvious sir, circumstances. If you're watching this later, um, this was in 2020. It wasn't the best start of the year. Um, but anyway, so here it is. It's a new cab and uh, I, well, it's going to go in my arcade room. I actually sold one cab uh, to make space for it. The 1942, I sold that to a friend. Uh, I just wasn't playing it and it works fine because this is going to go in. Let me flip this camera. And uh, there you go, there you go, it's just here. Um, I had people today, there was a van here, so I just couldn't uh, couldn't move it in. But it's been uh, it's been outside now for today. It's an asteroid cab. Um, it's filthy, filthy, filthy dirty. This was sold to me as non-working, so I don't expect it to power up or anything like that. We're still gonna try it. Uh, but everything is here, uh, big uh, uh, ISO power supply, the uh, AR board, uh, Tari, the main board, and the monitor uh, is all here, as well as far as I can tell, yes. Um, now, whether it's working or not. Um, so it's sold as non-working and as a filthy. Oh my God, is that poop? That is poop. Is that is that cat poop? Raccoon or whatever it is. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get the gloves and uh, <laughs> try and power this thing uh, and then see what happens. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's filthy, it needs a clean. It's uh, obviously original. Look at that, how cruddy. There's uh, some just wood here, it's disintegrating in some places. I'm gonna have to uh, fix that. Bit of Bondo will do the trick. Uh, see if I can re glue this or just get rid of it. Put a new uh, overlay on top of here. Um, yeah, corners aren't great. The art is still mostly here. Um, I see how it cleans up. I might just keep it as is. A bit of a uh, battle damage. Um, I think it's kind of cool all the same. Uh, I might just fix these scratches here, but if it's uh, stuff like that, like tape that took the uh, paint, <sighs> will I just paint over or leave that? I'll leave that, probably. How's the other side? Front is missing. Oh, control panel. We. Uh, Get some control panel damage. Not to worry. I can find these places or print them. But I'll try and find them. Uh, okay, over there is probably the worst, uh, worst off area. Other than that, and other than it's it's filthy, it need a new team molding. Uh, all this can be just fixed, you know, a bit of a um, wood stabilizer, bondo. I suppose people laugh at me when I say bondo because uh, we don't have Bondo here in the in Europe. It's the uh, isopond stuff. But look at that, yeah, that's all chip and chipping and falling apart. All right, let's get some gloves and uh, see if this machine works at all. Oh my God, this thing is so cruddy. Um, so I opened this, this fell uh, right away. So it's it's taped here, but the, the glue has, uh, has gone, but it's still intact. It might need a slight clean in some places like here uh, but uh, I'll have to be careful not to use anything liquid to clean it. Look at this I just rubbed it with a just a wet cloth and look at the <laughs> and it's it's crusty first I thought it was a texture because it doesn't doesn't just come off um, you really have to rub it Um I can see some burn I can see uh, is there a dead spot in the middle um, yeah, and here as well is just filthy. I mean, I'm not gonna see much anyway, if I, even if I power this on. Um, this is like a, it's not glass, it's plexiglass. Is this normal? Yeah, so I mean, I'm not gonna see much. Anyway, uh, I have this plugged in. I am running a, just a step, whatever, step down transformer, whatever it's called. Okay, so we can hear the hum from this guy. Um, I would have thought there was a light on this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking, yeah, there should be a light here. And that's not lighting up. Uh, fair enough. Uh, here, we've got a light. And have we... 
even just a trace of a neck glow. It's not gonna be easy to tell here. Yeah, there's a wee bit of neck glow. Uh, this camera is in the way or is annoying, but you should be able to see it there, yeah. Tiny spot of neck glow, but that should be good enough to tell me that we have, uh, at least we've got high voltage um, coming here, but other than that, I don't know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm assuming there's no power coming through this. Uh, let me check the five volts. I uh, can't do that with one hand, so I'll uh, switch this off and come back. Yeah, so there's no five volts, so this board isn't being powered. Um, I'm assuming. Either we have a fuse, I'm gonna check the fuses, or uh, the AR board here has something dodgy going on. Am I seeing a. Ooh, is that a diode or. Doesn't look too healthy. I'm gonna have to um, test that at some point. Uh, I'm not gonna do this now, I'm just gonna check the fuses now. Check they're all okay, and then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, leave it at that. Move this inside, clean it first. I don't want to work on it in this state because she's gonna get filthy. So clean it first, and then uh, we'll uh, start working on it. All right, so I checked. I'm getting uh, there's a, a five volt um, point here. Uh, there's a there's ground here and here. There's a ten volt, five, five volt, and I'm getting eleven volts at the five volt. So I'm Guessing that's not good. Um, I, I don't know exactly what should be where, what is doing what. Uh, I have no experience of this uh, type of hardware. So, uh, luckily I do have a manual that I bought years ago, just by chance. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I have it now, but you can find this on the internet anyway. It doesn't, uh, doesn't really matter that I have it or not. Um, first job though. So, yeah, I think the first uh, course of uh, inspection is going to see uh, make sure that this is delivered the right voltage and uh, fix that if not um, I'd like to see if this can be replaced by uh, even even the 5 volt just the 5 volt be replaced by a switcher and then keep that for the audio maybe I don't know we'll see uh, I'm gonna do some research on the internet and uh, report back but first first looks like the monitor at least uh, there's some high voltage going through that so we can we can worry about that if I know at least the board can even boot then I can I don't know, focus on the monitor um I don't know if this board works uh, that's the other thing and because this is a vector monitor I don't know either if this works or what but we won't be able to tell I didn't see a spot but we won't be able really to tell for sure uh, unless at least the board boots uh, or, or uh, loads uh, fires up uh, so I need that LED to be on and 5 volt to be uh, sent to the board. Uh, fuses tested fine over there. Um, I think it's the only one, so I don't see any fuses here. Uh, there's fuses on the monitor, um, but I'm not too worried about that yet. Anyway, um, I think next I am going to bring this inside and thoroughly clean it as best as I can. I try to use some uh, just a simple water and elbow grease, and this is the best I could do here. It's still starting with faded and yellow and disgusting, so I'm gonna use something like Windex or maybe water with my soap. Here I rubbed as much as I can, but I don't wanna to rub too much and take, you know, some of the paint or texture. Uh, it looks like this is, is this screen printed? Printed? Looks like it is, it'd be a shame to uh, damage that in any way. Those buttons, oh God, somebody, I don't know, puke lines or something. Um, they don't look great, but I think they'll clean up fine. I see a few uh, ships and dents here and there, but I think this is just crust. Uh, I do have replacement buttons, uh, however, uh, if they don't clean up well. These are the Atari cone buttons. They don't really, uh, they're not uh, available as new. I don't think so, it's only uh, old stock, but at least they're all here. So, uh, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean this and the monitor and everything else. This is so filthy. Ugh. Um, yeah, or oh, the marquee didn't light up, but that's uh, that's not a, a big worry for now. And here, oh, look at this. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna order a new T-molding as well. And this is filthy here too. 
Look, this is this is just water. Uh, look how much scrubbing I need to do to even just to get that crust out. I can feel it under the uh, the towel. It's uh, it's all goo and filthy. It will clean up, but uh, actually the camera doesn't do justice on how crusty this is. Yeah, there you go. Here, look at this. Like I'm scrubbing hard, but this thing isn't really coming off with just water. It is slowly, but it's just uh, gunging up. And yeah, this is years of uh, of dust and crust and whatever else. Uh, Windex is going to be my friend here. Anyway, let's bring this inside. All right, I got the cab in. Uh, inside the shed because it was raining overnight. Well, it, it was planned to rain overnight and I didn't want that to even be uh, outside. Um, so it's in now and uh, I should clarify, actually, I, I, I did a bit of uh, research and uh, I was wrong in assuming that that light in the monitor was actually a power light. What it is, it's a spot killer light. Shows you that I know nothing about these. So it's always good to uh, research. Uh, it's a spot killer light. So whenever... Um, this monitor is a vector monitor, so it's receiving uh, X and Y coordinates, essentially, uh, just to tell the monitor where to draw the line. It's not a raster monitor that can, uh, the scan lines goes back up, it just actually draws uh, directly, uh, like an oscilloscope. Anyway, so it needs X, Y. If the board is not sending X, Y, the monitor will essentially, uh, the, the cathode, the, 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 the tube, the electron beam will uh, just send a, a spot right on the face of the monitor um, and essentially just burn very quickly <laughs> uh, a, a nice big uh, spot on the monitor. There's already some of that um, uh, on this monitor. So what they had was a circuit on the monitor that actually shuts down the uh, the, uh, the, uh, vol the voltage to the cathode or anode, can't remember, uh, but preventing that electron beam from damaging the, uh, the, the screen. So... That's what we have now, and I'm guessing that we have now that now because the board isn't powering up or booting up uh, because our AR uh, board isn't working properly. So that's going to be our first fix. In fact, I'm probably going to also just clean up here um, this guy and uh, and maybe just change that big uh, blue cap. I don't know if it's working, should I change it? Uh, let's see. Probably should. Anyway. Um, that air board is the first thing I need to fix, and then we will need to tackle this this guy. It's going to be interesting because I don't know if it works, and I have no other monitor to test it on. So hmm. uh, I'm going to see if I can even just get five volt. I'm assuming I, I it's something blue in it because of uh, well we are sending it uh, 12 or 10 volts, uh, and it's not meant to get that. So. I'd be very surprised if that board uh, works. So fixing is going to be interesting. I'm have a, a half a mind of like sending it to um, Mark Hazeman, who does a, a great, great job. Uh, what's his our, our repair? Our, oh, I can't remember. I'll write it here. But um, I've sent in my uh, Outrun boards because I don't mind messing with other boards, but it's tough like Outrun. Uh, I, I want somebody who, who does really, really professional and quick job, and he did that. Uh, and on this, I know he will replace all the sockets, probably shotgun all the um, the, the sound uh, circuit, and uh, and fix everything else. Uh, he's very good at that. So I I'll, I'll see, I'll see. It'll be pricey, but sometimes you know, for for a good job, that's what you have to. Uh, have to do just pay the price um anyway so this ar board i'm gonna just take it out bring it to my um uh bench and just uh well test everything my quick update uh, i'm currently cleaning the buttons and uh, i soaked them in soapy water overnight uh, it didn't quite do enough to take the uh, the absolute shite that was caked on it so I soaked them in bleach for a little while uh, and that did the trick. Um, look how damaged, that's not the bleach doing that, they were like that already. But you just couldn't see it because of all the crust. Look how damaged these are. Um, 
plastic is uh, sort of uh, flaking off in part. You can see some breaks here. <sighs> Do you know, the, the best would be to change them altogether, but uh, these aren't easy to find, those uh, white buttons. I have some... Uh, I have some of these in blue, green and red. Um, I have one white that I might just uh, take to replace the worst affected one, but other than that, um, hmm, yeah, so what I, <laughs> there's not much I can do, well, other than what I just did, so I, I use some very fine sandpaper uh, just to remove most of those uh, flakes and bits, and then some, um, just some glossing sort of compound, and this is the best finish I seem to be able to uh, get away with as you can see it's still not great and uh, it doesn't look the best but it's actually I mean it's not completely day and night but if you if you compare one that I haven't uh, just sanded and sort of polish it's not re-glossed just a light polish uh, but yeah you, you can you can tell you know, it works to some extent, just not great. So I'll do this on, on all of them and then see if it's worth uh, saving. They might just do have to do for now and then in time I might replace them. But uh, obviously I'd like to keep everything original. So that's the idea behind this effort. This is the two I've, uh, I've sort of uh, fixed. They're definitely whiter um because of the light sanding and then the other ones i don't want to sand too deep either because I'll, I'll just end up being like taking too much of the material um the other option i suppose would be maybe um a retro bright but i don't have any peroxide here i might just order some and see if uh, if that does anything the problem with that is right now there's no sun and i've ordered some but it's not due until i don't know next year so I'm stuck with this. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. And then, you know, if I'm gonna go the route of getting a UV light and that kind of stuff, I might as well just source new buttons, you know, um, and deal with those afterwards. So I'm just gonna clean them as best as I can. Uh, if there's, I'm gonna get some peroxide. If there's any bit of sun, I'll, I, I will chance it and report back. But for now, I have those uh, three left to do. So let's do that. Right, um, well, first I have the buttons here, but before I mention that, I, uh, I've cleaned the cab. My God, this was filthy, and it still is. There's some, uh, oh, there you go, there's some uh, uh, bits of uh, chewing gum left here. Uh, I thought I'd removed all of it. Uh, I'll show you how to remove that, actually. I used some uh, Windex, whatever this is, elbow grease, degreaser thing, a whole bottle on this cab, and it needed that, but... Um, God, it's uh, it's night and day, and look at this control panel, how beautiful it is now. And the monitor, you can see the monitor. <laughs> uh, so I've cleaned all of this. There's still bits at the bottom that I need to clean, but I can do that next. And this uh, this uh, coin door uh, still has some uh, crust on it, but I'm gonna actually just uh, respray that. Uh, I need to fix that somehow. Just get new parts for it and everything. Uh, but other than that, it's quite clean. This corner will need some attention. I'm not sure how or if it'll be able to save the artwork at the bottom. But if I can even just cut where it's it's black, it'll be uh, better than nothing. And then we got all this uh, here that needs to be addressed. So I'm just going to just clean that, clean all the uh, little... I've done that already, but clean up the little bits that are sticking out. Um, I use a razor blade. Just follow with the razor blade and, blade and just... Uh, and just remove that like that. Um, uh, this back here took a long, long time at the top because it's uh, whatever was in the air just actually collected here. So you can see actually the, the crust here. Uh, still haven't been able to get rid of that, but look, we live with that. But uh, it was just so sticky and it's still sticky. Ugh. Um, and oily, whatever this was, it was just filthy. And uh, this is the rug, I don't want to touch them. These were white. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these were white when I started. Oh, absolutely filthy. Uh, but it's not clean. I've uh, cleaned all this, the uh, bezel here, and the uh, this art um, was quite, it still has some traces of uh, just heat or dirt, but I don't want to, 
you know, touch it too much. I've used some uh, very mild uh, alcohol wipes, like baby wipes, just to clean that. And it's it's done a great job already. The colors are popping much better. Um, I think I'm going to have to live with that. Uh, like I said, I don't mind a bit of use look. You could probably buy new ones. I'd, I'd, I'd like to keep it original. And if it's if it's it's not too bad, it's not too faded. Um, I'm happy with that. The other ones were the uh, buttons, and well, they did they did clean up well. Um, let me see if I have uh, some more light here to bring onto this. They uh, they they certainly did clean up well. I mean, they're still fairly damaged, but again, battle marks. I don't mind that. Um, ooh, ooh, that's my finger is dirty. Um, these guys, uh, I cleaned them and they showed uh, little bits of uh, distress here. But again, um, they work. They're here. So these are, you know, so they're usually the ones missing, or even these actually. Um, uh, the white ones are harder to find than any other colors, at least uh, here. So um, at least we've got them. And I might see if I can just spray paint um, them white and just one coat one very quick coat and then do a clear uh, varnish lacquer that way it'll be nice and clean looking and it'll be glossy and um, they'll still have the battle marks but I'm, I'm absolutely okay with that look at this control panel this is screen printed uh, so it's not a, an overlay or anything like that it's printed on the metal and it's it's held up I mean pretty well I'd say that all the dust and crust uh, probably protected it because, uh, yeah, there's no trace of, well, it's damage, but it's not flaking off, you know what I mean? It's it's uh, it's still there, and this control panel is actually in very good, uh, very good condition. I might just do a little bit of a touch up here, but that's, I mean, that's all it needs. Um, and the, the monitor and I clean up, you can see the burn here. And you can see this here, whatever this was, this spot here, uh, it's burnt a little uh, hole in the uh, phosphor, so uh, that's permanently here now. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get it running, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, I think at least for just the first uh, overview of this cab and just getting it um, uh, yesterday, uh, I'm gonna leave it at that for this video. And then next, uh, well, next I, I'd like to get next I'd like to get uh, stuff running. So I'll I'll work in parallel on just the the cosmetic of the uh, the cab, just the uh, the borders. I'm, I'm gonna get new um, T molding, clean up that door, and in parallel I'll work on the AR board. So I might do a separate video for that AR board, and then uh, and then keep the uh, cosmetic just for a, a series on this restoration. I'll see. I don't know. With most things on this channel, I have no plan. But um, anyway, folks, thank you for watching. I uh, hope this was interesting. Again, you can find me on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, the Discord server is no more. I, I didn't have time um, to look after it, really, I'm afraid. And I know a lot of you joined it just for DIY chats, but um, it, it was just too much work for me and, and too much monitoring and that kind of stuff. And, I ended up uh, not working on anything else but uh, monitoring those Discord form, so uh, it, it defeats the purpose. So it's gone. But uh, folks, if you want to help the channel, there's a, a YouTube membership and uh, there's a Patreon page. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.